Simran was interviewed by the Saved by the City podcast saying that interfaith is not a dirty word, that he could get people together, Christians, Hindus, Muslims, whatever, and we could have interfaith. We can have this connection, even though you would say, and I would agree, there are great theological differences between a Christian and a Muslim and a Hindu. Great differences in how we are saved as each one believes and how we're going to heaven or whatever they call the version of it. And yet for Simran and so many, no, let's just be all together. Let's ignore all these massive theological differences by cooperating for, wait for it, politics, right? It's always the goal, right? Let's minimize religion. Let's use religion to get you in the door. But we really want our political goals of, of racism and cooperation and all these things to have this kind of utopia on earth. And he says that it's not a dirty word, but I would say it's an honest word and that it's honestly what the goal, not being faithful to whatever religion you believe, but being faithful to a political goal. You're not being pure to what you've been taught, you're being pure to what you want. And that's not the salvation according to your religion, that's, well, that's a utopia on earth, a political type of utopia, which sounds really, really good and, and it can have a winsome approach in a podcast, but doesn't get anyone to heaven. Psalm 119, Daleth. I am laid low in the dust, preserve my life according to your word. We seek out Christian values and comfort because there are times we're laid low. There are times we feel defeated. There are times we don't have the energy and the strength to keep going. Lord, preserve me according to your word. Preserve me according to your promises. Don't give me some mix of all the world's religion and some truth as if that's going to be good enough for me. No, I need your pure comfort. I need your pure salvation. I need you to be with me. I don't need politics at that moment. I don't need the hope that in 50 years we can change the world for better. I need hope that when I die, I'll live with you forever. When I'm laid low in the dust, when life isn't going my way, help me to see and my life to be preserved according to your word and your truth.